guys, it's Emma again here from the Fashion Hotbox on Instagram. And this is gonna be my second real YouTube video. I'm really excited about this one because it was highly, highly requested. So I basically ordered 20 pairs of over the knee boots at all different price points, mostly trying to be like more affordable. The boots I'll be reviewing today range from $25 to $800. So it's definitely a huge disparity, but I think all of them are pretty good. It really just depends on what kind of quality you're looking for and how long you want your boots to last. All right, let's get into it. So I have to say that I was really pleasantly surprised with both of the Shein boots in this haul. Um, this first pair you can see are like vegan suede. Um, they're a really good height on knees, so these are definitely over the knee boots. Sometimes they claim to be over the knee and they really just hit you at the knee. But you can tighten them on the top as you see I'm doing here with the strings. And the only thing I really noticed with these is that there was a bit of noticeable bunching on the top. But um, when you walk in them, they definitely don't slouch or fall down, which is something I made sure for every single one of the boots in this haul. So you don't have to worry about that. And overall, they were really great. They're actually really comfortable. I can't say much to quality, but who knows? So this second pair is also Shein, and they're really similar to the first pair, but I actually liked these ones better. They were a little bit more comfortable, and I thought that the bunching on the top wasn't as noticeable and that they looked a little more expensive, even though they were only like $3 more. Um, but the heel is a really good height. They were super comfortable. The inside is super warm. It's almost like a velvety fleece, which I was not expecting, but it they actually would be really warm to wear in the winter, even just with tights. And again, they tie in the back. So you can see the bunching just isn't as noticeable as in the first pair, but I'm definitely keeping these. They're super, super cute. So these boots are from Lulu's and they're the highest heel in this haul. I personally don't love high heels, but these are pretty comfortable considering. They remind me of my Stuart Weitzman Highland boots, which are obviously way more expensive, but these are the same comfort level, um, feel like pretty good quality and look exactly the same. And they're only $49, so it's kind of crazy. Um, I will say that these are really good for people with smaller legs. I have really small calves and thighs and these fit me perfectly. So these ASOS boots um, are super cute. They don't have a tie in the back, so you can't make them tighter, but they do have kind of like an elastic thing on the inside, which I'll show you in a second. But they do stay up. They're really tall. They're the top, like they go up the highest on your leg of probably any of these boots, which I really like. They're a little big in the calf area for me, but that's something that I personally always have a problem with. I have like weirdly skinny legs. So don't let that scare you away just because they look a little baggy on me. On a normal person, they would probably look fine. But again, the heel is really nice. The quality seems pretty good. They remind me of Stuart Weitzman 5050s, but a lot cheaper. Next, we have these Steve Madden Brinkley over the knee boots. Um, what I love about these is the pointed toe. I really, really love pointed toes and boots. I think that they make your legs look longer and skinnier and are overall just super flattering. These boots were really comfortable. Um, you can see that they're a little short on me. That's because I just have weirdly long legs. Like I said before, on any normal person, these boots would hit you just right. And again, even when I was walking, they didn't fall down or slouch or anything like that. And they actually hug my legs really nicely, which again, if you have skinny legs, these are really, this is a really good option for you. And they're Steve Madden. Like you really can't go wrong with Steve Madden. Their quality is always pretty good and I'm a fan. Next, we have Mark Fisher's Yuna boots. I really love Mark Fisher. I think they're a great brand. These boots weren't my favorite from the haul just because they're a little more baggy and slouchy, which I personally don't like that in my over the knee boots because I really like to wear them with dresses and skirts and tights. But I included these because they are cute and if people like to wear their boots more with pants, these are a really good option. Um, you can tighten them on the top with the strings and they definitely don't fall down even though they are a little baggy. Um, I really like the toe on these. It's like a pointed metal toe and I think they're pretty unique but also basic at the same time. These Goodnight Macaroon boots are my favorite from the haul. I'm seriously just obsessed with them. I've already worn them like four times and I wear them more than my Stuart Weitzman's now. And 
They're really good quality. Uh, definitely worth the $168, which it can be a little expensive, but I feel like I'm going to wear these so many times and have them for years. They're this super, super soft, plush kind of velvety material. They just hug my legs perfectly. I feel like they're really flattering. And I love that they have a concealed zipper instead of the ties in the back. Um, overall, I'm really just obsessed. And I bought these in two more colors. <laughs> And last but not least, we have my trusty Stuart Weitzman Lowland boots. These are amazing. I'm obsessed with them. I've worn them into the ground for the past four years in all manner of weather conditions, and they are still staying strong. The quality is amazing. They are definitely a good investment if you are willing and able to spend the money. And they're really, really good for skinny legs. Like I said, I have that huge struggle. So yeah, overall, A plus for these. <laughs> And that's the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was helpful for you guys. I would super appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it and would like to see more hauls, reviews, and try-ons, feel free to ask any questions in the comments you have about the boots. I'm more than happy to answer them. And I hope you guys can subscribe to my channel and follow me on, the fa on Instagram at the Fashion Hotbox if you don't already. I'm super excited to have you guys here and excited to make more of these videos.